up around here. Exciting package here, exciting package. This will be the last time you see my van in this driveway. This is a driveway that I did the van fit out and a bunch of other stuff. My in-laws are moving out of here, so I've got to clear some stuff. Check this out. Ooh, the uh, unseasonable weather continues. Winter in Auckland. Beautiful. Anyway, in today's exciting episode, I got a new tool belt. I wasn't in the market for a new for a new tool belt. Very happy with the tool belt I have, but a representative of the company who made this tool belt got in touch with me and um, what right do I have to turn down free tools? Got brown carpentry. And that top one is the people's tool. Oh my god. Diamond back tool belt. I've heard a lot about these tool belts. Little uh, little pouches here. So there we go. I guess these all clip, do they? How do you unclip? Do you need to unclip? So you can take them off. That's pretty cool. I've seen these on Instagram. These are like these are hammer holsters. So you can hammer can go in there like that. So I'm not gonna retire the Occidental. I love that tool belt. The only problem I have with the Occidental is that it's too heavy. And already I can tell this is lighter. So that could be a point, that could be a positive for this one. But uh, I'll do a full review once I've properly tried it out. I can't really think of anywhere else to put these letters, so they're going on the wall. I wanted to finish setting up this Makita drop saw. Pyder when I unboxed it the other day. Brushless, 18 volt, no, two times 18 volt, 12 inch sliding compound, might have saw. And we're gonna unbox it. I asked for some extra batteries so I could really give this thing a chance. They went all out and gave me four six amps, so we should be able to give it a fair test. But that's not what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna unbox the thing. A little, uh, Dust catcher bag. Oh, uh, the Makita guy told me about this. It's like a microchip that goes into the saw, but we'll talk about that soon. I guess it's a handle. 12 inch uh, iffy cut blade. Yep. Oh, it's been a beast day. Eh? This thing's heavy, man. That's my first impression, anyway. Oh. You guys who've watched my videos will know that I I use a Dewalt drop saw. So so yeah, everything's different. I didn't even know how to uh, how to unlock it. There we go. There we go. They've given it two extraction points, so that catches the initial dust, and then all the stuff that goes down here will go into this. And then this one connects here by the gar the blade, and then you put your hose in there, and that goes to your vacuum. So it extracts from both points at the same time. There we go. That's a big Allen key. And this blade is gonna go here. Oh. Damn. Damn, that's tight, bro. I feel like I'm gonna snap the Allen key. Nah, bro, that's not going in. We wanted to do a couple of test cuts, but we can't even get the bolt off to put the blade on. And yes, we read the instructions. We read the instructions. <laughs> it's still not like We've it. got the, the lock pin on the other side pushed in. So we can loosen the other. Oh, I'll be reading them upside down. That's the problem. <laughs> <sighs> ah, 
so we got stuck. We couldn't get the couldn't get the blade off. The Allen key wasn't doing it. So I've got this. Yeah, can you see it? I've got this Allen key bit here that goes on the drill. Oh yeah. So five tighten. So that goes that way. Four loosen. So that goes up. So loosen is clockwise. And when you go forward, it's clockwise. I don't recommend this, by the way. Don't use your drill. Doesn't want to go. I think it worked. God, I felt like I was breaking it, but it worked. Now the blade. Look at this beast here. Ify cut blades. Now I've got very limited experience with these blades. They gave me a handful of them the other week there. And that's what I put on my track saw when I was cutting that timber. Yeah, they were pretty good. But like I said, I've only had them for a couple of weeks, so... The test of time is the real test. Alright. No spaces to put in. Just slots right in. I like when that happens. Anti-clockwise, Scott. Oh, baby. Now I'm getting excited. Oh man, I'm excited. How do I turn the light on? That switch there turns the laser off and on. I just realized that uh, I didn't actually turn this vacuum cleaner on. And uh, despite that, there's not a lot of dust around here. Oh, there's a bit on there, a bit there. Alright, I gotta leave, but this... You don't want to be in the, in the episode, Jess? No. Why are you hiding? I don't want to be in the episode, don't film. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to leave, I've got to go home, and um, I'll use this saw and this tool belt. We're doing some framing in the next job, so we'll use all that stuff and I'll do a review and uh, I'll see you in the next exciting episode. Feels different. <laughs>